bravo, bravo, and bravo to your mum as well. That's a devilish piano part. This is terrific playing, really terrific playing. You obviously love the piece, and that came over very, very strongly. Please come in, take, take seats. If you're auditioning somewhere, how old are you now? I'm 16. 16. If you're thinking of going to music school or what have you, I suggest this is your audition piece. Uh, there's still a little way to go, yeah. but you, you've got it. You've, you've got the structure of the piece down in your, in your head very, very, very strongly. But what's so interesting, listening to it again uh, this morning, is um, how similar this first movement is to the first movement of the Mendelssohn Violin Concerto, which we're going to be hearing in a moment. Uh, it's it's, it's uh, very formal, it's in sonata form, first subject, second subject, development section, cadenza, coda at the end. It's very, very formal. And it includes these ravishing tunes that I mentioned right at the start. I mean, the tunes really are exceptional. So one of the great tune makers of, of the 20th century. Practice is, is important, but the right practice is far more important. It's like a, an athlete, when, when an athlete goes and they work out. They, they, if they're going to run the 100 metres, the 100 yards, so they don't say, OK, I'm going to run the 100 yards. Woof. And then they stop and say, I'm going to run another 100 yards. Woof. Because you, don't, you don't have the energy and you haven't thought about it. Yeah. Uh, uh, practicing is a lot about thinking. Mm -hmm. So when you're, when you're in your physics class at school or mathematics or one of those subjects that perhaps you don't enjoy as much as, as you should, um, if, you, if you're there... You're just thinking, okay, I'm going to do my relaxation exercises. I'm just going to think about my body and how I am with the instrument and how I am with the violin. Yeah? yeah. Th this, this will really help you as an artist. Because yeah. I can see you have an artist's soul in you. And it would be good just to bring that out as much yeah. as, as possible. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't bounce it as much as you're bouncing it. Right. I'd keep it on the string more. Just try it again. No, more, more, more bow. I really want it. So it's almost cutting through to Rebecca back then. She's saying, ah! OK? Exaggerate. Yeah! Much more bow. More bow. Now, I do it again this time. Uh, watch where your bow is. Yeah, you, you, this is a piece where you get through a lot of, a lot of hair, uh, horse hair here. Uh, get closer to the bridge, okay. and, and the sound will become much bigger, but less tension in the right, right arm. Okay. okay. Beautiful. beautiful. Uh, but more and closer to the bridge. Okay, okay. exaggerate for for the moment because you'll you'll practice this later on, and you yeah. get a different colour. And you're into Catajuring is into colour, so yeah. give him all the colours that that he needs. That's a big bow. It's not ba da da. You're playing ba ba dum bum ba da da. Ba da dum bum ba ba da ba dum. You haven't changed your point of contact. I want it nearer the bridge. Okay. That first, the, that ba ba dum bum, ya da dum. Just play that for me. Ba ba dum bum. No piano. No ba. Not, not with an accent, but with the left hand. Ya da dum bum. You sing it. Sing it to me. No, that's not how you. It's not not how he would have heard it as a, as a composer. He would have heard it as I can't sing, but you'll get the idea. It's ba ba dum bum, ba ba da ba dum, isn't it? Can you hear that? It's bam ba dum bum ba ba da ba dum bam ba dum bum. So you're a nice tenor. Yam ba dum bum ba ba da ba dum. Even more so. Left. Yeah, that was getting it. No. Bam ba dum bum ba ba da ba dum. Yeah. That's. Don't you hear that? That's the difference. It's giving it more colour and more beauty. No. No. The nut bow is really important. 
So make it make it magical. Mm. No, just pause and go. Bom dum dum. Before you get to the tune, mm. the, 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 that the the note before the bar line. Yeah. Pause on it. Kiss it for a moment. All right. Yeah, but even more so. Again, it's uh, performance is about exaggeration. Uh, and what you feel in, in the studio or when you're practicing at home, you think, oh, that's fine. You take it into the concert hall and it becomes really small because you haven't done enough of it. You haven't exaggerated it enough. So just, just that boom, dee, dum, dee. Uh, you, and you won't be as exaggerated as that finally, but it will yeah. give you that sense. Yeah. yeah. More! Sing it! Go on. More! More! Come on! More left hand! You're beautiful! No, that, that, yeah, that's, your, that's your up bow again. Yeah, your upbeat again. Your dear dumb. Yeah, could you give book it But it's the same. Kiss it. Yeah? yeah? Go, go from that. No, you didn't do it. No, pause. Yeah, the, your, your, the orchestra is going to be waiting for you. No conductor will say, oh, well, I'm going to come in and he's still doing his upbeat. They're going to wait for you. Your mum's going to wait for you. You can do whatever you want with it. Okay? Yeah. Beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? Those Fs make each F different. Da 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 dee. Maybe the first one. You can experiment with these things. Da 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 dee. No vibrato. Dee da da dee. But you can mess it, mess about with it, so you yeah. get different colours. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And Austin has chosen to play uh, Shostakovich, first violin concerto. Do you want to say a bit about the piece? I mean, it was it was written in a time of like um, severe censorship. Yep. In uh, Stalin's regime, so um, there's a lot of pent up and kind of disguised um, frustration from Shostakovich and mm -hmm. all the music, and especially in the cadenza, mm -hmm. you, you kind of feel it build up mm -hmm. to the point where it gets where it kind of like flows mm -hmm. close to the end. Yeah. Very well said.
Thank you. Bravo. The lovely violinist. Very lovely. This, this piece means something to you and you're deeply inside it and you're getting to know it very, very well. So congratulations on where you are at the moment. Very impressive. Um, I won't say too much about the last movement because it's, it's there, but a couple of things. Um, um, when you have those, those um, pizzicato Ds, this is a, it's a burlesque, which means that it's sort of funny. It's fairground funny. And he loves writing fairground music, Shostakovich. So when you do that, I want to hear it. That, that is triple F, those dink dink. Hmm? Can you just play that passage? With or without, I don't mind. More, more. I want to hear that tick, tick. Yeah, see, the, the audience goes, oh, that's funny. Because it, that's the way it should be. It's the character of the piece. Again. Yeah, even more. When, when you're in, when you, yeah, it's really, so it's, you think, oh, Lord, this has really hurt my, my third finger here. But it, tink, tink. Okay? It just gives it character and it gets their attention. Now, th this is an amazing cadenza, isn't it? Knuckle breaking cadenza. And it goes from uh, piano to triple F. Have, have any of you, do you have, remember a, a very famous Russian violinist called Misha Elman? Uh, Misha Elman was about 10 years uh, older than Heifetz. He also studied with Leopold Auer in St. Petersburg. And uh, a, a violinist of uh, tremendous uh, character. And uh, he was, um, after a concert one day, somebody came up to him and he said, Do you know, Mr. Elman, you play louder than any violinist I've ever heard in my entire life. And he went, hmm, that's because I know how to play soft. It's a big lesson that I know how to play soft. You are in a rush in this cadenza. You play most of it mezzo forte. And I think it would be really good if you sat down with it, and you probably have already, but there's more work to be done, and looked at the structure, because it's incredibly structured, this cadenza. And he's put it in sections, and it's like mounting uh, the steps before you actually reach the mountains. So it's going, starting here, then it's here, then it's here, then it's here, and then it's here. Dam, dadim, bum, bum, which is your triple F. Mm. You have to have arrived at that slowly. No more, more G. Yeah. What do, you, what do you think? Is that sound bigger to you? Yeah? And if you, you want to experiment with that, because the, the, um, uh, the chords in this are so important. He's giving you all the harmony, and he wants it to be huge. When you play the cadenza, don't be in a rush. Well, it's, like, it's like being on a, on, a, on a horse, and the horse is really wanting to go very fast, right from the beginning. That's you. So you, you rein it back. Uh, and you rein it back to such an extent that you're taking your time. It, it would be the equivalent of, of saying, okay, I'm going to run a marathon, and then I'm going to run the 100 meters, and then I'm going to run another marathon, because I'm young and I'm energetic, and I can do all of those things. For this, you've got to hold yourself in reserve. Don't be in a rush. Keep all the tempo down, keep a pulse going for yourself, and then sit down with it, with your teacher, with your family, and, and think, think of it in structure, the, the sections that lead step by step to that amazing uh, triple F that you have to play. And the triple F has got to be very different to everything else that you have played. You're wonderfully talented. I really enjoyed your playing. And I say thank you very much and thank you. Okay.